right. <clears throat> Why is this saying my session six hours long? <laughs> uh, good job, Twitch. I'm gonna go and refresh that uh that page. That is not correct. There we go. All right. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Hello. Hello, all the people watching the VOD in the future. So, how are we doing today? And yes, I am talking to you with this thing in front of my face because it's the only way I'm getting this kind of angle. Um, soon, we will have a uh, webcam. Sorry, I thought someone had come down and was standing behind me. Anyway, so it's just the uh, demons of the warp, not, not a serious problem. I've been, like, about to sneeze for, like, two minutes now. Alright, moving on. <laughs> if it comes, it comes. So, we are continuing to work on... Zakarian Vander. I have... A couple spots I missed this afternoon. Uh, to fix with gold highlights. And then we shall begin on the armor that I thought I was doing last stream. And instead we spent the entire stream... Um putting uh, copper accents on, uh, or, or bronze accents on the barrel, which I think was an improvement, I think. I feel like I was way more excited about it than I am now, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Side of the napkin is very wet, <clears throat> doesn't actually help me. All right. So yeah, I uh, earlier forgot to put some gold on the bronze bolts on the spawn soons. And the spawn soons deserve some love. As sometimes unsung heroes of vehicle shooting. I mean, at least I hope the last cannons in here hit something eventually, one day, and do more than one damage apiece. I hope. There's still a D6, so who knows. Yes, I tortured myself by actually painting the bolts underneath there, but, you know. Details. All the details. But yeah, we knock out the bolts on the spawn soons, and then we get to highlighting all this black armor. Which will probably be the whole stream. Unless I get sidetracked again, like last stream. And begin painting something else bronze. I don't even know what I would at this point, but you know. The reason I'm doing gold highlights, or, you know, the, the, the gold that is highlighting the bronze, before I do the, the steel highlights, is because the bolts that I'm highlighting with the steel is small enough that I'm probably going to mess them up with the armor highlights. <sighs> I was stuck. Second there. Stuck in dry normal oil, I think. Um... While the bolts I painted bronze were only the large ones because I kind of thought, you know, maybe they're a different, not just bolts or rivets or whatever, they're, they're some kind of like, you know, magnet based technology or something, you know, um, that's why they're so much bigger. So now they're bronze and, uh, those are large enough that I can, I can reliably miss those. With the highlight later so those I did first I had a thought earlier and now I'm pondering if I'm going to execute it that way or not 
when I do the barrel, my intention is to take all this open, like, inner barrel space and turn that into just weapon glow. Now, I was intending on making all the lights blue-based, like I did in my Storm Raven. Kind of keep a, uh... Keep a, keep a consistency in, in aesthetic there. That being said, even though I originally planned the barrel also glowing blue, there's no reason I have to go with that. Really. In fact, I was wondering if maybe I should do something green based instead. This is kind of because of the consistent scheme that I've been doing through throughout my army which is uh, plasma's blue melta and flame are always you know bronze tipped um, grav is green laz uh, and volkite are red uh, power weapons are usually a blue as well So, my thinking is, what, uh, since this is a neutron something or another, it's some type of exotic, you know, particle beam kind of deal. Um, my thinking is, maybe it should be green, because that's kind of what Grav is, too. It's exotic wave, I think, in, in Grav's case, anyway. Because graviton waves are a thing, in reality. So it's not it's not a particle, it, it's a wave. So um but still You know what? Uh I suppose it's something I, I can just wait until the end to figure out. Hey Tone! Yes, it is the Sicarian Venator. Although I actually think it's just Sicarian Venator, I don't think there's an eye. Uh, like a second eye. Scar and Vander, and the uh, spawn soon weapons already painted. They're waiting to get sealed in, um, which will happen when everything else is done, so I can seal all of it at once, as well as the Storm Raven and the Eradicators in time for the tournament. This is where we're at. How's it look so far? Um. Uh, yeah, it's all the gold for the spawn soons, so I think it's time to begin on the black armor plate. You varnish everything when done. Yes. Or at least, um, now I do. <laughs> Airbrush black. Um, this was airbrush primed black, airbrush base coat black as a complete reset, because this was like kind of painted before, but I wanted a complete restart because I didn't like anything I had done previously. <laughs> Um, I was fairly new to painting when I painted the first time. I wasn't terrible, but I wasn't great at it. Um, and then, how I got this matte black is what I've been doing with a lot of my stuff lately, where I then um, airbrush it with Nuln Oil, which mats it all down. Also, does a consistent uh, darkening of all uh, everything else. So the metal's been darkened in addition to shading by Nuln Oil. It's all very dark. It's actually like like it's darker than it is in the camera. Um, that's just because cameras. So, um, yeah, I primarily have. I really just have three steps left. I highlight four steps left. I four steps left. I highlight the armor. Highlight the steel. Then I. Do the lights, the couple lights, like there's lights above the spawn soon, there's a light here, there's a light over here. I do those, and those are going to be like the Storm Raven. And then do the barrel effect, which I, I'm pondering, like I've been, I've been pondering maybe doing something different than I had, I had originally intended. And then, um, yeah, then I'm done, and then I, then I varnish it, and then it's ready for the tournament. Um... Then my next step is, with whatever time is left before a tournament, I want to start doing freehand stuff. Starting in the Storm Raven, if I can get to this piece, I also have some ideas for this. Um, something with, like, over here somewhere. 
Um, I want to paint like a, a skull uh, kind of leaning back. I'm thinking on this. This is where I keep seeing it in my mind. A, a skull, no lower jaw, and it's on the ground, and it's kind of leaning back, so like the eyes are pointing up like this way, right? And it has a dagger coming through into it, cracking the bone. And yeah. Um, decently complex, but I think I can pull it off. Anyway, got a lot of highlighting in front of me. Um, probably all the highlighting is not going to be done until tomorrow. I am behind schedule from where I want to be. I want this to be, like, being finished today. But uh, the first half of this week, I felt like garbage. I didn't even stream at all Monday. I just couldn't do it. I was completely wiped. So, yeah. Um... So yeah, let's uh, let's get to it. Let's get some. Uh, I'm gonna flip my um, palette around. Get some Dawnstone. We're gonna get rolling. How are you doing, Tone? You having a good hump day? I know I'm actually exhausted right now. I've been going nonstop since uh, 11 this morning, which was like when I woke up. I literally haven't stopped for more than like five minutes since. And it's 8 o'clock, so, yeah, 9 hours, it's fine. Woke up, had an hour-long call, um, ate, uh, worked out, showered, ate breakfast, had, like, an hour to work, uh, work a bit on this before my first stream, streamed, had another call, prepped the dinner, painted a little bit, cooked dinner, eight dishes start streaming again <laughs> so like oh yeah that's right you're in uh, australia um thursday morning here doing good though finished my cultist looking at the boxes when we start next oh cool nice um are you i knew i forgot something Okay, are we back? Oh, I think we're back. Sweet. Okay. Yeah, that happened um, twice this afternoon on the afternoon stream as well. Um, that's really funny that I timed just when I hit my desk. That's that's amusing. Um, yeah, it's it's something with either OBS or my internet. Um, just came out of nowhere. I have no idea why. Or what to really do besides wait because it just reconnects uh, like regularly like at about the same time every time like you know like three three or four minutes after it loses connection. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to fix uh, and turn back on my timers um, on the for the for the chat. Um, I was about to say, uh, Tone, are you in my are you in my Discord? Um, because I'd like to see the cultists, seeing you finish them and all. Uh, that highlight's gross. Uh, get rid of that. What is this track? Why does it exist? Uh, I've spoken you through ages ago. Oh yeah, the RG Discord. Yeah. Um, 
after that whole thing happened, I, yeah, I've not really done much in that Discord. Let me, um, you know what's weird? My commands work again. Um, finally. Uh, but, uh, but they didn't, they don't work on my timers. I turned all my timers off. Yeah, I have a server for this. Um. Uh, it's in there. Um, biggest, uh, thing you get out of that is that, um, I, every time I go live, I throw on a, um, I throw in an announcement message with the link, so it's really easy. You don't have to be, uh, looking at your email or, um, or already on Twitch. You'll just, you'll know. Trying to get more active in there, but I've been barely keeping up with stuff as is, so yeah. Um, nice. So yeah, post in there, post in there, your cultists. I want to see them. I love seeing other people's stuff. Jump over to model showcase here. Oh, I haven't even put any any of my newer stuff in the showcase myself. <laughs> Whoopsie. Well, I haven't, well, to be fair, I haven't posted any of the newest finished stuff because I don't think they're finished. They're just finished enough for the tournament, you know? Um, I want to do all this crazy conversion stuff. Like, this, like, this vendor is nowhere near done. I want to do, um, I, I, not just freehand on it, but I want to do, like, conversion stuff like I did on my land speeder and my, um, contemptor and stuff with, like, skulls and chains and feathers and, and all kinds of crap. Uh yeah, no problem. Take your take your time. I'll be I'll be here. This is going to be a one paint stream, just about, almost. <laughs> it's going to be nothing but Dawnstone for the rest, of this, the rest of the stream. This is going to take me so long.
Jeez, how do I even get my brush in there? See, this is why I hate, like, painting built stuff. It's like... This edge is visible. But man, is it hard to get a... It's not even like a low visible, like, it's fairly visible. And just super annoying to get in into. Peace. Just post them in, into Discord while none oil the base, dark it up, paint the rim, and it's GG for them. Alright, let's let's check them out. In the painting. Oh nice. Oh wait, they went away. Here they go. Ooh, I like that dark-skinned one on the far left. That one looks good. Well done. Oh yeah, he looks awesome. You know what he reminds me of? He reminds me of the end of, um... That music video. Uh... Um, wow, I'm blanking so hard on like the uh, centuries by Fallout Boy, I want to say. Yeah, like the end of the centuries music video. That's what that guy reminds me of. That's awesome. I think he did a great job on that. But yeah, Keket's, uh, ringing a very faint bell. Um, like, I'm like, I know that name. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, put one up at Von Crawler and base. Just got attached to dude now. Dude on a Venom Crawler? What? Oh, wow, this guy looks.
Oh, since I'm live again. When I when I cut out like that, are you guys able to still hear me or no? I'm assuming no, but who knows? Just got you. Okay. Yeah, I get. I uh, yeah, I see what you mean now. You haven't you haven't glued the uh, venom color to the base. It looks awesome. It sucks now as I I don't know for how long me hyping up your venom crawler actually was broadcasted or not because I was talking about it for like a good like two minutes <laughs> thanks man it's missing so much shading on top to kind of show light but not feeling too confident you heard nothing I was like man this guy's amazing this guy's hype the um what was the thing I was noticing the the gold looks really good on the, on the side of the abdomen in particular, like the big chaos face thing. Uh, even though it's only two or three colors, it, it looks really good. And the flesh is great. Yeah, that whole thing's awesome. Um, yeah, I, I get how you... Jeez. <sighs> oh. I get what you mean about, like, wanting to do... Um, light stuff but not feeling confident it's hard to do lighting stuff um you are at the point where like all that's really left for you is like really advanced techniques i, I can tell that fairly easily um and yeah uh like improvement for you at this point is going to be slower and harder than all the stuff you were doing before but i believe in you I think stuff like lighting and uh, micro details are in your future. And I'm saying micro details because I was noticing like, like the cultist's flesh, it looks good. Though there is a next step. And that's like the little like, like um, highlighting the flesh and adding, you know, markings to it, like scars and stuff, for example. Um... I can give a visual example in a minute if I pop up uh, some of the close-ups of the uh, tribal servitors I did last year. Because they got a fair bit of that. It's even in frame, kinda. The barrel's screwing up to focus, but... Uh, what? What a weird modding stuff. Like glazing and stuff. Oh, I mean, more advanced than glazing. Um, stuff like um, glows and like not just glows, but like good glows and uh, flesh, like realistic flesh tones and um, sorry, mine's blinking. I'm tired. Like like a uh, proper OSL, for example. Um, uh, proper layering like I don't mean like GW layering I mean like art school layering for example um, is a thing and acrylics are really good at blending um, yeah like um, actually like proper layering is really good for doing like realistic flesh because it's like it's it's one of the most uh, e efficient ways I think of doing realistic flesh, which layering is basically like you really thin down your paints and you apply it in layers to build up over time. So it's not just highlighting a a um, like a bicep or a pec, for example. But it's adding lighter layers in very thin amounts. Um, so it becomes like 
a gradient as it goes up. Uh, and that's how you get like those really soft, um, smooth, uh, flesh blending. Unlike, you know, um, you know, the super good painters that do like busts and stuff you see on Instagram, for example. That's how you do that stuff. It's through layering. Takes absolutely forever, but man, do the results talk. I realize my autofocus can't, for the life of it, figure out what the proper zoom should be on auto to actually see what I'm doing. Also, I am going in. Oh, yeah. Dude, I, I just went in on a... Not just. This was a few weeks ago. Went in on a, um impromptu uh, painting contest with Miniac in his Discord. Because I'm, I'm in there. I'm not super active or anything. I just post stuff I finished on occasion. Um, but anyway. Dude, some of the people that put entries in there like it wasn't even a super serious painting contest like most of the most of the categories were like it was uh, it was public voting and the categories were all like like some were some were good it was like you know uh like bet like best best layers i think was actually one of them um best uh best basing for example stuff like that but then there was like total meme ones like like the most moist which i love because i love that word <laughs> i love how it makes people uncomfortable um uh where's some of the other ones uh the most the uh, the most pink model or the most use of hot pink or something like that it's pretty funny um even though i put in my crazy uh mortat piece i didn't win anything <laughs> uh but that's okay it, it was fun I had already painted the piece for it, so whatever. Um, didn't take any more effort than it took me to just, you know, fill out the Google form. Um, I'll post a pic of it in the Discord. Or actually, let me see if I can bring it. Yeah, I'll just put it in Discord. I don't want to deal with trying to put it on uh, on screen. It's so annoying. <laughs> Um, I gotta, I gotta get better at doing that though, to be honest, because there is stuff I want to do with that, but I'm tired. Um, Raven Guard, Morita, where's the Morita folder? Don't do my massive pick, um, collection. Here we go. All right, I just threw it in painting. That's uh, that's the piece which I originally uh, painted for. Um, there's a Horus Heresy Discord. I think it's the biggest one um, around. It's got like four thousand members in there or something. They they were doing a first among contest called First Among Warriors, or First Among Warriors, something like that. Anyway, um. A while ago, actually, there was a whole bunch of drama about the, uh, like, behind the scenes, I guess. I don't know. But it took, like, months to, for it to get actually, like, judged. But anyway, I painted that for it a while back, which was, the idea was just paint a character. It has to be something brand new. Painted for that contest. Um, and it was, like, a week after, or a couple weeks after I had finished, um, finished that piece that, uh, uh, I saw the Miniac one, and I'm like, and they were like, "Put it, throw in anything you want, cause it's just for fun, kind of deal." Oh, thanks. I got second place uh, in the Horus Heresy one.
Oh yeah, right? Well, I figure it's just, it, the, the body's just like ceasing to exist because that's plasma. Like, it, it got vaporized on a molecular level. So everything else around it's way hot, but I could have done the smolder better and that was actually mentioned in the judging. And I'm like, yeah, that's fair. I gotta, gotta get better at that. Holy. Oh, that one was a lot faster. Um, I really wish I knew why that kept happening. There's nothing obvious going on. Um... So, gameplay-wise, all plasma weapons are... Not all the same strength, but they're close. So, like... At least with Imperium, like Space Marine Plasma, right? The standard plasma strength is strength seven. AP makes like a like a plasma gun, like a standard plasma gun that like a tactical marine carries, or an assault marine for that matter. So they can also carry plasma guns. Oh yeah, sure. Random piece of sprue I missed, I guess, somehow. Nah, I'll just paint that like another bolt. No one will notice. I mean, this thing's so big, I, I, I'm sometimes leaving areas and going off to paint other stuff without even finishing, like, sections. Jeez.
Okay, this is this track is like too close to Minecraft without being Minecraft, and it's making me angry. I want it to be Minecraft. It's not. Okay. Sure. Yeah, this track is going all over the place. Whatever it keeps going, I like, so we'll go with it. It's called like Birth of a Hero or Death of a Hero or something like that. Something's happening to the hero. That's all I know.
Yeah, this song's surprisingly deep. We're touching on a lot of like deep concepts here. It's pretty hype. Bang, that's the playlist. The work. Nope, bun's not working. Yeah, they got they still got some work to do on all that. You know what I will do? I'm gonna put this on repeat for a little bit. Just a couple times. I wanna I wanna listen to the lyrics more. Like this is just the uh this is like a Fe featured playlist by Epidemic Sound for Electronic and Beats, which really is just like a huge sampling of their stuff. Um, this is not one of my catered, hand-picked playlists, so I don't know all these songs. Definitely gonna need more paint soon. And we're back. The song is unironically good, in my opinion. I like it. I legitimately like this song.
All right. I'll turn the loop off. After this play through, it'll carry on with its random nonsense. for new paint. <sighs> Looking pretty good so far. Welcome back, town. Oh, you missed the whole thing about this song. The song is hype. You got, like, deep lyrics and stuff, and I had it on loop for, like, ten minutes. I was like, alright, we'll let it play other stuff now. <laughs> anyway. So we were talking about Plasma, I think. Yeah, Love Me Like a Stranger. Uh, it's the name of the song. Um, okay, so Plasma from a lore perspective. Um, Plasma's kind of one of those things that because it's like super sci-fi, like it's whatever the author wants it to be. Like, it goes from... Okay, so it usually outright defeats like most armor. That's just armor, you know what I mean? You kind of need power fields to beat it. After that, it's kind of all over the place. Like, for some authors, it, like, annihilates tanks, like, outright. Other authors, like, they don't even bother using them against, like, large vehicles. Um, as for the coils, I've never seen anything point to that. It kind of makes sense, in a way, but also that. Because if you're, if you're trying to think about it logically, right, um, it's plasma. Like, you're shooting not, like, just any plasma. It's not, it, it's specifically, like, the stuff of stars. You're shooting a star at them. At that heat, realistically, nothing besides energy stuff should beat it ever under any circumstances. Because it's a star. It's like one of the ultimate weapons, just flat out. So, yeah, you can ascribe the, like, it's almost like video game logic. Like, oh, the more coils, the stronger it would be, and, like, that, that, 
knee-jerk reaction kind of makes sense. So, like, it, it, it works from that perspective. But when you actually stop and think about it, which I have been, like, since you've been on the phone, I was thinking on it a bit more. Now I'm like, it's also plasma. It should be everything. It should in immediately annihilate every single thing it touches before it loses energy and cohesion and dissipates. Which is like the max range of the weapon, effectively. How far that is actually depends on how strong the reaction and magnetic uh, whatever they're using to um, to project it in the first place, project and direct it in the first place. You know? Does that make sense, or am I crazy? No, not unlimited range. Um, because how plasma is described as being projected is that, like, the fusion reaction takes place, right? Like, there's a, there's a mini, uh, or a micro fusion reactor in the gun, right? Kind of like what's, um, what's in the backpacks of Space Marines. Same thing. Like, they're all, they're all nuclear powered. So is Master Chief, by the way, on a side note. Like, the Spartans, their armor armor is also powered by um, micro-fusion reactors. I think, I think Spartans might be fission reactors, but that's besides the point. It's a, it's a micro-nuclear reactor in their backpack. And that's why they have backpacks. Um, so then, man, this is an awful highlight. Jeez. I don't I even know what to do with that. Um, then, the, then the weapon projects an electromagnetic, like, tunnel, effectively. And these are the ones that shoot streams, which most of the ones I've seen are streams. Like, I guess Tau are technically bursts, and, like, that uses a different, rea uh, different reaction. But the ones that use streams, which is most Imperial Plasma, as far as I'm aware, um, makes an electromagnetic tunnel that the plasma shoots down the tunnel, and then its energy gets dissipated into the atmosphere or whatever um, after that, because heat has to dissipate into its surroundings, thermodynamics, you know? The cross streams, man. Well... Actually, I don't think much of anything would happen if you cross two plasma streams. Like, it would just be that much hotter. Yeah, I don't think it would cause any kind of weird reaction. <laughs> no, I know. I just, I, I, my mind has to assess, que like, questions like that. Like, oh, what would happen if you did cross streams? Well, I don't think really anything. <laughs> um, it would just get a little bit hotter. A little bit hotter. I think that's one side like completely done so like when this whole thing's done it's all gonna look like that except the steel will be shinier that's what the armor will look like pretty good nice um <sighs> little harder to understand how those work the ones that shoot like bursts they create some kind of electromagnetic sheath thing and project the electromagnetic sheath in like a sphere somehow that doesn't really make sense unless there's an object in the middle that's projecting the electromagnetic sphere then why isn't that thing annihilated by the plasma like like a plasma just as far as my understanding of physics goes, which grant I'm not a physicist, but like I read a lot of science and science fiction. Always have. 
by my understanding, you can only really have streams. I can't think of a method of projecting a, a independent sphere away from the emitter, uh, the, the away from the origin point, and it maintain its shape for any amount of time at all. But, um... Yeah, like, I be... I even made an animation to go with that, uh, Moritat painting um which you can find on my on my instagram which i'll throw in the chat that's the easiest way to find it uh honestly um and uh i do i do a stream in there too because i have him shoot both his plasma pistols and it, it's like a beam effectively it's a very very bright beam Way back, we're back. Nice. Why hasn't the mu music start? Start. Dip, 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 dip. Also, I just realized I'm highlighting this metal piece with Dawnstone. That's supposed to be metal. I mean, I'll be uh, I'll be highlighting it again with uh, metal silver, so like it'll be uh, fixed automatically. But what's happening here? Fix the music. Please don't stop the music. Music. Okay. <sighs> what I was saying a second ago was hydrate. Got some water. Drink some. If you don't, go get some. Wait the track. I actually don't hate it. Okay, carry on. <clears throat> Very good. All right, so. You figure out what your next project is, Tone. There's a, there's a panel there. Look at that. Very faint, but you can see it. It's also part of where the mold screw, screwed up. This, this specific print it is a Forge World. That's why this specific print was very dirty. Like it's all, it's all jacked up. In all kinds of ways. Uh, warp, it's between a Warpsmith, Legionaries, Chaos Terminators, or the Dark Apostle. I have heard the Chaos Terminators are pretty good right now. And Chaos Terminators are pretty awesome. So I do have a soft spot for just regular old Legionaries. Like, they just, they just look cool. They just look cool.
glass it's not coming off all right i'll have to clean that up later i think so too only reason i'm leaning towards warp smith is that they had a squad just now i'm ready for some hq love totally legit the guy had done so much infantry before the storm raven and this vendor oh and, and a land speeder the land speeder like i did a very quick paint method on that so like the actual hull itself i didn't spend much time painting um after after all these vehicles though um actually i'm not really sure what i'm painting for my personal stuff after this tournament stuff like i know like so after the tournament is done and the painting stuff is judged and everything so like on stream and like my the, the bulk of my paintings going back to working on that white scars commission which is all infantry but what i'm doing next for my personal army i'm not sure i do have some third party um hqs uh what do i have i know i have a chaplain in terminator armor a librarian in terminator armor oh and a tech marine a really really cool tech marine model um one of those uh i think i'm gonna paint it even though like Terminator armor isn't really a thing used a ton by Raven Guard. It is used though. There is official art of Raven Guard Terminators being the cr utter crap out of some Tau. Um, that exists, so like we definitely still use them. Um, and they're really cool 3D sculpts uh, that I got through a. Um, it was actually through an Instagram giveaway, which I normally never win those things, and what's even funnier is that I win one of the ones by someone I actually knew already. I knew them through a Discord group for um, Almost Pro Gaming back when he did Warhammer content. I'm still in the Discord, actually. It's just, it's kind of dead. But uh, what's even funnier is that he actually lives, like, just north of me. Like, one, one gaming group or, like, I think closer to two gaming groups like areas north of me um which because i'm in new england like that is kind of an actual like measurement range because <laughs> like usually gaming groups are a good like 20 25 mile radius around the store <laughs> but yeah um really really cool sculpts so i want to I want to get to one of those, I think. I'm pretty sure one of them's a librarian anyway. It might be a captain. But I know one of them's definitely a chaplain, and one is a one is a tech marine. Now, I already have a pretty good painted Primaris tech marine. That I actually ironically finished right before I got I was told that I won this one, which is frustrating. So I don't need another tech marine. Um, I also already have a Firstborn Tech Marine. So even though the sculpt's really cool, I don't actually need the Tech Marine anytime soon. So probably the Chaplain Terminator Armor? Because I've been leaning away from the Vanguard Vet, um, bomb. Uh, because, I mean, just CP, don't have the CP. Like, I think I get more out of using the CP to buy this and the uh, Contemptor Dreadnought than I do for all of the stuff to make the, um, to make the, the bloody Vanguard Vet Bomb work. It's at its, at its peak, like before the CP, before Nephilim, uh, I'd spend seven CP turn one and just crush something that I threw it into. Like, pretty much anything I threw that into. Um, the only thing I've thrown it into that didn't immediately die was Bellacore, and that's because Bellacore, you can only take so many runes, wounds a, a turn or a phase or whatever it was. Um, so he had plot armor, literally. Uh, Lightning Claw and Storm Shield is how I run mine. So it's with with squad of ten, it's forty one attacks on the charge. At strength four, neg three, one damage, rerolling wounds, and then they all have a two up four up. The um, with all the stuff I give them in that VV bomb, 
They have full rerolls ahead, full rerolls to wound, plus one to wound. They do, uh, they do mortal wounds on the charge. Um, they have. Oh, actually, I think I think Lightning Claw is normally neg two, but I turn in neg three. Actually, let me look it up. I have my I have my codex right here. Lightning Claw, yeah, neg two. The next three when I do the when I do the charge. Oh yeah, no problem. But yeah, I'm thinking Tech Marine t um no. Terminator Chaplain. Chaplains are still really good. Well, I haven't used the Librarian in forever. Actually, in reality, now I think about it, I don't have to worry about what I'm paying for my stuff anytime soon because it's gonna be a lot of conversion work and um, freehand and and stuff that I plan on doing to these three units that I painted up for the tournament. It's gonna be like probably a good month or so, if not longer, just getting these up to where I actually want them. That's all happening after the tournament. And that's only on my it's only on my time. It's not even like my my workday painting is gonna shift back over to um 
the white scars. This panel rim looks terrible. It's so hard to get it in there. And there's a part of the print that's messed up. <laughs> Ooh. Not great. Well, if I just uh, go in a little broader on the outside there, it'll look like I clean it up because it'll just be more consistent. Yeah, this whole thing's gonna have to be cleaned up later. Whole thing is just awful. Anyway.
for a split second, I thought that was the intro of a uh, Breaking Benjamin song. <laughs> Yeah. Actually, I should come out and do this from the other side. Be the uh, obvious way to do this. Alright, the camera angle is just not going to be good for this one. I don't think, anyway. Someone decided to put a whole bunch of detail underneath the big gun. Ah, it's because I, uh... Did not paint this in pieces, even though I would have liked to.
Okay, this one angle is definitely not gonna be good. Not for you, not for me. Nobody's happy with the angles involved with this. But you can still kind of see it just at a casual glance, so. Gotta hit it with something. And hope I can kind of clean it up later. I'm entirely out of frame. Even though now you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. A little bit.
I need more paint. <clears throat> I got nothing left. Nothing on, nothing on the brush, nothing on the palette. Oh, I grabbed the wrong thing. I grabbed a mess out of gray. That would be very different. All right, so let's uh, wrap up the stream and this <laughs> quarter of the uh, of Mr. Karn is done uh, as far as the black paneling. That's so probably going to take me another. Probably nearly two hours to uh, two hours worth of painting. Probably tomorrow. Uh, maybe some of it tonight. Nice possible to um, wrap up the black highlighting. Um, then it's gonna be the metal highlighting, lights, barrel. Yeah, I think I can pull all that off tomorrow. Um. At least most of it. At least like by Friday, definitely. But give me two days to do maybe a little bit of freehand on the uh, Storm Raven. Might not be any. F it, this music is really distracting. Okay, sure. 
Okay. Um, hoping I can still pull off some freehand. I would really like to get to some freehand, especially in the Storm Raven. Um, ironically, lately, because I've been paying this more, I've been getting more ideas on what to do with this, but is what it is. I'll, uh, you know, yeah, I'll just see what, where we're at when I get there. How much time I've got, how, how ambitious I feel like I can, I can, I can be. And, um, yeah. But, uh, this still is not clear. I believe this has been a basically tabletop painting stream, and yes, I know I change up my intro and my outro every single time, and it's never the same because it's all unscripted, and I can never remember what I said last time. So, um, and when I try to write up a script, I don't remember it by the time it's time to say it. So. I'm just going to keep saying something until it sticks so well naturally for me saying it that that becomes the thing. Also, hydrate. If you got water, drink it. If you don't, get some. That I remember. For some reason, I guess because it's pragmatic. I remember pragmatic stuff very well. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah. So uh, it looks good. That one highlight needs to be upped a lot. Pretty awesome. All right. All right, I will see you guys Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern. And then again on Friday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually stop as soon as this brush is actually clean because I don't know that's Yeah, screw it. This thing's taking a while. Alright. Have a good one everyone.